find two solutions to this equation by first using the interval 0 to 2 pi and then solving for theta. Okay, so what are they saying? So we have 2 cosine of 2 theta plus pi over 3 equals negative root 2. Huh, okay. So what, what do we do? Let's go look at our notes. Notice we have one cosine function. That's all. One cosine. We've got a bunch of mess on the inside, but it's still just one cosine function. Go into the notes. <clears throat> to the top we go. Only one type of trig function. That's us. Yep. First power only. Yep, that's us. Get it alone. Okay. And then take it to the unit circle and get your two answers. And if the value's not on the unit circle, then see number three below. Okay. Get it alone. So, get what alone? The cosine. Get the cosine alone. So our first step is to divide by the two. So we have cosine of two times theta plus pi over three equals negative root two over two. So we got the cosine alone, meaning we got rid of what was in front of it. Now, you might think you can divide off this 2 theta plus pi over 3, but that's not at all right. Because this stuff right here to the right of the cosine is function plug-in. It's kind of like f of x. You can't divide the x there, right? Why? Because it's a function, and that x is plugged into the function. It's not simply multiplication. I know we think of parentheses as multiply, um, a lot of times, but in, but when it's when you have a function like cosine or f of x, then that that's a function, and that x is plugged in. This these parentheses mean plugged into the function. They don't mean multiplication. So we can't get rid of it by dividing. That's that's actually completely wrong. So we can't do that. So I just want to highlight that though, because I know a lot of students make that mistake. It's natural because there's parentheses, but you can't do it. Anything coming after a sine, cosine, or tangent, that's that's a that's f of x. That's a function. We can't. It's not multiplication. Can't get rid of it by dividing. Anyway, so what, what did they say to do? Step one, get cosine alone, meaning get rid of whatever's in front in front of it. We did. Step two, go to the unit circle. So we're saying where's the cosine? Negative root two over two. Don't worry about this now. Just in fact, just just cover it up if it bugs you. Don't worry about this inside stuff. Pretend it's not there. So just where is cosine negative root 2 over 2? Let's, that looks like a familiar value. I think we can go to the unit circle and find where cosine is negative root 2 over 2. Let's go to it. Here's the unit circle. Remember how this works? It's cosine sine, cosine sine, cosine sine. We're looking for cosine to be negative root. There it is. Negative root 2 over 2. 3 pi over 4. But remember there's always two answers. There are almost always two answers. So uh, where's the other one? Right here, cosine, sine, negative root 2 over 2. So 5 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. They're both places where the cosine is negative root 2 over 2. 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. So let's take those back. So we're saying, okay, so the cosine, oh, so, no, not the cosine. So that means the angle, th this is all the angle, right? You plug angles into cosine. So that means that angle, that whole thing, that whole inside is, I already forgot, what are those two? Uh, 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4, okay, is 3 pi over 4 or that angle, that whole inside angle is 5 pi over 4. Does that make sense? We just found where, where is the cosine? What angles make the cosine negative root 2 over 2? With that angle, 3 pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4, which means if that whole inside angle, that whole expression on the inside is 3 pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4. So that's what we're looking at. All right, so um, now let's go back to the instructions, the notes. It says here, so... Um, Let's, I think it says it down here. Number four, when the inside is not a simple x, and that's what we have, do all the normal work according to number one, two, and three above, and then when you get all your answers, set the inside equal to each of the answers and solve for x. 
So for example, here's tangent of 2x minus 4. And what they did is they got these two answers because they got it from right up here. Oh, hello. Right here. They brought these down. This one down. And then they just said, they, they said the inside is that, the inside is that, and then they just solve. So that's all we do. So we just say, okay, just solve for theta now. So I'm just going to say, okay, divide both sides by 2. And how do you divide a fraction by 2? You stick 2 in the denominator. Denominators are dividing, right? Same thing over here, divide by 2, stick 2 in the denominator. Boom. What do we got? Theta plus pi over 3, and that's 3 pi over 8, isn't it? And over here, theta pi over 3 is 5 pi over 8. And now, subtract pi over 3 from both sides. Subtract pi over 3 from both sides. And what do we got? Theta is 3 pi over 8 minus pi over 3, or theta is 5 pi over 8 minus Pi over three. Now you could just you could type them in just like that. It'll take it just like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. You don't need to get a common denominator, all that monkey business. Um, we could though. Here, I'll I'll do it anyway. But I'm telling you, you don't have to. What, what am I doing? That is not the right way to do that. We got to multiply by three here to make 24 and eight here. So we get what's that? Nine pi over 24 minus eight pi over 24, so that's pi over 24, 1 pi over 24. This one, top and bottom by 3, top and bottom by 8, and I get 15 pi over 24 minus 8 pi over 24, which is, what's that, 7 pi over 24. So we got 7 pi and pi over 24. There's the two answers. So, Long story short, when you get this kind of question that has a, a bunch of stuff on the inside, just do the outside. Just divide by the 2, then you just uh, get the cosine alone, then you just go to the unit circle, find the two places, 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4, where cosine is negative root 2 over 2 from the unit circle, then just solve for theta. Divide by the 2, subtract the pi over 3, there's our two answers.